Hello my dear students and welcome back to English class. You can see a picture of a peacock here. Did you realize which lesson are we going to study today? Yes, you are right. Today we are going to learn a new lesson that is the peacock and the crane. This is actually a fable, Aesop's fable, also called as a short story. Now Aesop was a Greek storyteller, was born in 1620 and died in 564 BCE. He is to write short stories which are also called as fables, mostly on the animate or inanimate objects. That means either animals or uh, inanimate objects. And he used to give these animals or inanimate objects the characteristics of human beings. So these characters used to uh, solve games, play games, solve uh, questions and behave like humans. So let's begin with this lesson that is the peacock and the crane. There was once a conceited peacock who had a gorgeous tail like no other bird. So you know that a peacock is very beautiful, right? Its feathers have different variety of colors which makes the peacock the most beautiful bird. Therefore, it is said that a peacock is like no other bird. So here in this story also, this peacock was a conceited peacock. Conceited meaning very proud. So this peacock was very proud arrogant, okay, vain and it had like other peacocks, it also had a gorgeous tail. Now what is gorgeous? Gorgeous meaning extremely beautiful and attractive or magnificent, stunning, okay. So gorgeous means very beautiful. Since it had gorgeous tail like no other bird, you must have seen different birds. But you might have realized that no other bird has feathers like that of a peacock. So therefore, the story peacock also was a conceited peacock who had a gorgeous tail. So when he met a crane one day, the peacock scoffed at the crane's colorless and dull feathers. So what happened? Once, you know, peacock was going around and he met the crane. You know, crane, how it looks like it is, uh, you know, having colorless feathers or maybe, uh, you know, brown spots will be there on its uh, feathers. So this bird doesn't look so beautiful like that, unlike um, the peacock. Fine. So therefore, when peacock met the crane, the peacock found that the crane's color was you know, dull. You know, it does, did not have a beautiful, colorful feathers. Uh, sorry, feathers. Therefore, the crane, uh, you know, uh, the peacock scoffed at the crane's colorless and dull feathers. Now, what is the meaning of scoffed? Scoff here, it means a phrase. Okay. So, laughed at rude, rudely and scornfully. Fine. So, uh, scoffing means... To, you know, laugh at someone by making fun of that person, thinking that that person or is stupid. So here, even the peacock, you know, scoffed at the crane. Said, <laughs> like that he laughed and found that his feathers are very dull, colorless. Okay, so he wanted to show off uh, to the crane, look at my feathers, they are so beautiful. Therefore, he scoffed at the immediately spread his own colorful tail for the crane to see and admire. Here, the peacock wanted its, uh, you know, feathers to spread around uh, in front of the uh, crane so that the crane will admire his uh, colorful, uh, colorful feathers. So, he wanted the crane to say 
uh, that your feathers are very beautiful and he wanted to make him jealous that is why he spread out his uh, colorful uh, tail okay for the crane to see and then once crane sees his beautiful feathers he, he may feel jealous or he may admire his tail or his feathers so therefore he immediately spread his colorful tail for the crane to see it. look at my feathers he started saying he boasted how they shine in all the colors of the rainbow while yours are so pale i am dressed like a king so now since now uh, you know peacock came to know that uh, it is the most beautiful bird you know and uh, crane does not have any colors or he has dull feathers he just wanted to boast Look at my feathers. So you just want to show off that I'm so beautiful than you. Okay. And no, uh, you are so dull in front of me. You don't have colorful feathers like me. So he started to boast in front of him. Look at my feathers. How they shine in all the colors of the rainbow. You know that if you have seen a peacock, you find that there are different colors for his feathers. Okay, so uh, these colors are almost like rainbow colors because there are different uh, colors for the feathers. So that's why he, he started boasting. Look at my, uh, you know, uh, colors, they shine. And you know, when uh, it opens its feathers or its tail, you find that they shine like the rainbow. Okay, in all the colors of the rainbow. While yours are so pale. Pale means dull. And when he opens his uh, you know um, feathers he looks like a king so therefore he says that I am dressed like a king yes yes dear students even the kings when they dress up they look so uh, beautiful okay or handsome they look very uh, elegant fine so here even the peacock wants to say that I am dressed like a king so they also put very fine clothes okay so that they look very uh, you know, handsome or, you know, when they appear, they their appearance is uh, eye-catching. So, even the peacock's appearance is very eye-catching. So, he says that I'm dressed like a king. Let's see what crane says to, uh, or crane answers. So, even, you know, uh, he says, that's true. The crane answered, you know, he was very quiet and he was listening to the boasting of the uh, peacock so he said that's true the crane answered okay uh, what was the expectation of the peacock peacock was thinking might be that the crane would admire or uh, you know uh, give praises to the peacock but something else only happened something different only happened so he said that's true the crane answered but I can fly high above among the clouds and the stars and I can see all the beauty of the earth in all its glory while well, you live down here just like any cock, any other cock. So he say he is very intelligent. Okay, Now he actually uh, uh, got all uh, scornful uh, saying from the um, you know peacock. But he did not lose his hope or did not lose his heart. Instead, he tries to say that, you know, I can fly high. You know, peacock cannot fly high. It can only dance by opening its feathers and look beautiful. But can a peacock fly? No. Any other bird flies. Okay, most of the birds flies uh, living, you know, emu or maybe ostrich and even the cock. They cannot fly. Okay, so... Um, so he says that I can fly, I can see the beauty of the earth, I can be among the clouds and the stars. And you know when, uh, you know, you, if you have traveled in an aeroplane, you'll be uh, understanding how beautiful the earth looks like when you go up and uh, see down. Look beautiful. Why? Because the earth has beautiful colors, you know, green plants, uh, beautiful different colored flowers. You know, you can see even the mountain colors, brown colors. Then you can see the um, water color, which is blue. So when you go up, you will see a beauty of the earth in all its glory. So just uh, so that therefore, you know, the crane tries to tell us that though you may be, you know, you may have beautiful feathers, but I can fly high. 
you cannot fly so you cannot see the uh, beauty of the earth i can fly though my feathers may not be beautiful as yours but i can fly and i can see the earth from above that is very beautiful okay so here the is you know fine feathers don't make fine birds now what does this mean it means that in a negative that it is uh, the you know uh, don't make fine birds it's the saying fine feathers make fine birds is used in a negative sense here to indicate that looks or fleshy clothes may not be very important after all so what he say um, so here uh, you know uh, dressing or looking gorgeous or look uh, putting beautiful dresses is not very important what what is more important are your values your inner beauty okay so fine feathers uh, don't make fine birds means if you dress up very beautifully and neatly and you go out that doesn't mean that you have got good behavior or good values what is more important is your inner beauty how you are dressed up inside uh, what values you have how you behave with other people that is more important than uh, just looking gorgeous or just wearing good dresses okay students so it is not that outer beauty or what you wear is important what is more important is your values are your values your uh, inner beauty how you behave with other people okay so therefore the story uh, the more of the story you might have understood that you may be very beautiful or you may be uh, dressing very beautifully that doesn't mean that you are a very good person you should be good at hand should be uh, behaving well with others so i hope so you have understood what is the story or story about okay never boast uh, about yourself okay fine so these are the meanings of the lesson conceited means very proud vain arrogant okay gorgeous means beautiful magnificent or stunning scoffed at means to laugh at someone thinking that in a rude manner or uh, in a scornful manner fine pale means dull fine feathers make don't make fine birds we are the same fine feathers make fine birds is used in negative sense to indicate that looks or fleshy clothes may not be very important after all so your looks are not so important what is important is how you are how you behave what are your values okay students so hope so you have understood this lesson or this short story of aesop's fable okay so i want you all to uh, write the meanings and even try to answer the questions thank you